Thank you. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. Planeswalker Academy, what's going on? Thank you so much for three sub. Really appreciate it. Give Frank money for a year once per month. Reward Epic Entertainment. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You are awesome, dude. Um, someone asked, have I been keeping uh, up with the previews? I said yes. And I said that I have Mythic Spoiler up. And also, I have a sweet modern article going up tomorrow on CoolStuffInc.com. You can use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. But the article is going to talk about aggro loam in modern there's a bunch of sweet land matters cards in modern horizons that i think could push aggro loam back into the spotlight so definitely check out cool stuff inc tomorrow or today if you're watching this on youtube and uh let me know what you think make sure you uh leave a comment on the article itself that would help me out a ton let me know what you think and oddly enough there were a couple cards spoiled today that i wish i could have included in the article because they're they're interesting. I even mentioned this in the article. I was like, I wish I wish I could have written this after the entire set was spoiled. And I guess I could have, but I really wanted to talk about it, and it was a Thank good topic, you. and I liked it. So so we wrote about it this week. Spaghetti Toucher, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. 15 going on 50. We can only hope, right? We can only hope. I like this treachery, but okay. So we have a stipulation in the queue from... Good old. Let's find it. Your screen did not go out there. I just had to. A good old Danny DB. Build a stack deck. Must take mass land destruction. Any kind of mana denial. Winter orb. Strip mine, etc. Let's start with winter orb here, and see if we can make this stack deck happen. And now we have mana vault, coalition relic, and two signets. So, all right, let's do it. Add, com, stip. This could be the one. Uh, I think we have to go Mana Vault here, right? No, because it doesn't untap, though. As good as Mana Vault is, I think it's actually Coalition Relic. I moved from $20 haircuts to $50 haircuts and got some cool hairspray. And I'm feeling cool. Yeah, Tokyo Rain. Nicely done, buddy. I am okay with that. I use um, I use a, a clay. It's called uh, it's Baxter of California. Shout out to Baxter of California. I think Relic is the best. I love Mana Vault, but the fact that it doesn't untap is pretty brutal. I also kind of like Mox Diamond here if we're going to Winter Orb things. Time Twister doesn't do much for us. Yeah, I think this is a Mox Diamond deck. Emrakul, huh? If we're taking Mass Land Destruction, do we want Sylvan Carry added? Do we want Hollowed Fountain? I'm getting haircut later today, taking suggestions. I suggest... Getting your hair cut. Slime does kill lands. Hmm. <laughs> Emrakul, I guess, is mass land destruction. I'm going to take the Hollowed Fountain because I feel like white is going to be one of our primary colors. Through the Breach. Well, there's nothing in here that really screams mass land destruction, unfortunately. And we just passed the Emrakul, which is pretty comical. So I don't think Emrakul's coming back. Could just be Charter Course. I mean, if I'm going to take a red card, I'm going to take Through the Breach over, over Faithless Looting. Faithless Looting doesn't impress me at all. And I don't want to play red for it. I'd rather take Charter Course than Faithless Looting, too. Because it's basically the same thing. I think Through the Breach has the highest upside. Uh, Glenelange or Archmage is pretty decent. Kozilek is decent with Through the Breach. It's only Annihilator 4, but that's still not terrible. Could just be Glenelendra Archmage. Yeah, we're just gonna take the Archmage. I think the Archmage will 100% play, whereas the other card, I'm not so sure. Hmm. See, and then we slow down. We just get Winter Orb and two mana things, and we're just like, oh, well, now what? I don't know. I guess we're done. Yeah, I'll take Flicker Wisp here. Ugh, it doesn't. It's not impressive though.
Ancient Grudge doesn't seem great when we don't know our colors. I, I have no desire to be blue or red mana denial. I'm going to take Flicker Wisp because I assume that we're going to balance. I assume that we're going to balance. Yeah, balance could be great here. All right, we'll take a balance. Metalworker. Ooh, let's metalworker things. Boros Signet. That is actually pretty sweet. All right, we're doing it. Things are happening. Oh, how about a Windswept Teeth? I don't think we're an opposition deck. I don't think we're a Gideon Blackblade deck. Can you imagine if the Emrakul came back? That'd be gassed. Sword came back, though. Windswept Teeth also gets Hollowed Fountain. Mishra's Factory last pick. Time Walk first pick. Let's Time Walk. Let's do the Time Walk again. You guys know that song? You guys know that jam? We also have Metamorph. Metamorph can come back. Russell Brand can come back because we have Through the Breach. Definitely taking Time Walk here. Casper, what's going on, buddy? Do we like Teferi? Teferi untaps two lands with Winter Orb out. That seems pretty nuts. Aside from being like one of the best Planeswalkers in the, in the world. Yeah, this seems like an easy Teferi pick. <clears throat> Control magic seems good. Smoke stack seems good. I bet smoke stack comes back. I bet we can take this control magic in the smoke stack tables. Hmm. Five cards are coming back. I don't think you have to take it. I think you have to build a deck around it and uh I mean my the point is I think it's coming back. Like I don't think anyone's gonna take smoke stack here. Are there just too many? Um no, there's actually like one after this. I just forgot to respond. I'm so sorry. So go. I'm so sorry, buddy. <laughs> That's it's definitely not a matter of uh it's not it's not quantity. It's just a matter of I I just forgot. I'm sorry. I think it's control and I think smokestack's coming back. We're going to we're going to gamble on that one. Oh, trop scrubland and underground sea. This is it. This is a pack all right. Um, unfortunately, none of these are great for us because we don't have any black cards. We could take tropical island which lets which lets windswept teeth be a blue Blue, black, dual, blue, green, blue, white, dual land. Oh my god, nailed it. It's not Leviathan. It could be Jace Vryn's Prodigy, but I'm not super excited about that. I'm just going to take Tropical Island here. Jace is probably good, but I, I think I'd rather have the, 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 the land that makes my other lands more lands. Blightsteel Colossus. We have Through the Breach. Alternatively, we take like Mother of Runes. Scrap Heap Scrounger. I think we just take the Blightsteel. And if we get a Tinker, it's also very, very good. And we could Metalworker it out, too. So there's a lot of options there with that guy. Arcane Artisan is a thing. We also already have Coalition Relic, Boros Signet, and Mox Diamond for uh, Through the Breach if we want to play that. I do like Arcane Artisan. Yeah, it's probably Arcane Artisan. Frost Titan shuts down lands. That's kind of staxy. So does Tithe Taker. I think Frost Titan's probably a decent win condition. Worn Power Stone. Deal. Absolute deal. Okay, so literally none of the cards we wanted came back. That's sad. I guess... Well, actually, Ajani seems good again in the stacks. Like, yeah, let's take the Ajani. And we can just plan on playing. We'll take Journey. Don't stop believing, guys. And the smokestack came back. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. Plow Under does feel worse than Land Destruction. 
Where are all the pancakes? Wow. Wow. It's not a short stack stick. It's just a regular stack stick. Inkwell Leviathan. Mm, also decent if we get a Tinker. Not not that great on its own, unfortunately. I'll just take Scrap Heap Scrounger. Parallax Wave seems fine. Alright, we're doing it. This deck actually seems great so far. And a last pick, Edric. That was very quick. I feel like that Edric was taken uh, hastily by the by the by the computer. Um, is it just Batter Skull? Wasteland. Actually, Wasteland and Strip Mine are in the stip, so I guess we'll take the Wasteland here. And hopefully we can get a Strip Mine and a Crucible of Worlds. That would be gas. Azorius Signet. Oh, yes. We want Azorius Signet. Maybe the Rashad and Port comes back. That would be sweet. I do want this Bribery, though. Oh, maybe we just take Bribery, actually. We already have a Boros Signet and a Coalition. I'm going to take the Scrap Heap Scrounger and put you over here. Bribery seems like the place to be. Yeah, we're not going to take the Burning of Zinni because we're splashing red. We're not going to be like a, re a double red deck when we have no red fixing other than Mox and Coalition Relic and Boros Signet. Um, but it's Bribery. I'm going to take the Bribery. Signet's great, but I don't know if it's that great. Um, I do like Elspeth. Elspeth's a pretty solid win condition, especially if we're ramping it out. It also gives us a bunch of things to sacrifice to Smokestack. We already have a sword, which untaps our land, no less, which is pretty good. Mana Leak, also pretty decent. I'm going to take the Elspeth. I think it's just the most powerful of the cards. <coughs> it's your boy. Uh, Lodestone Golem. Okay. We're stacking. I like Phantasmal Mage a lot, but I'm going to take this Lodestone Golem. Actually, Mox Diamond is probably a land, but then you probably want 17 lands with Lodestone Golem anyway. Gilded Lotus. Probably better than Rakdos Signet. Eh, Rakdos Signet does help us cast through the Breach, I guess. And a Johnny. But, okay, these might be a package deal where, like, if we don't... I don't know if we're through the Breaching just with Blightsteel. Hmm... I think I do like Gilded Lotus better than Rakdos Signet, especially because we have um, Sacred Foundry seems great. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, Mystic Confluence, though? Uh, all we have is a Johnny Vengeon. I think we're actually fine on mana, especially now that we picked up Gilded Lotus. I think I'm going to take this Mystic Confluence. That is just a powerful wizard. Uh, sort of Bonnie in mind. Yeah, that's just good. That's just a solid sword. The problem with Forge Master is that it just doesn't do anything. Like, I mean, we're not going to get anything. We're like going to sacrifice their artifacts to get, like, Lodestone Golem. And I don't really feel like keeping Blightsteel Colossus in the deck. If we had multiple things we could throw the Breach, I'd be like, alright, cool. Coercive Portal seems wonderful. So does Thirst. Oh, man. What do you do when you want three cards from the same pack? Portal seems great, though, right? It's Portal's just a better Thirst, right? All right. This is 24 cards. I think we're going to play 17 lands and a Mox Diamond. Or we could play 16 because we have Winter Orb, Coalition Relic, Metalworker, Born Power Stone. Actually, Flicker Wisp is pretty bad here. Well, I don't know if it's bad, but it's not great. 
Oh, Rashad and Port comes back. So does Miscalc. Our colored mana is actually not that hard. Geist of St. Draft and Fairgrounds Warden. I think we probably want the Fairgrounds Warden. Phantasm image? Sure. Iona would be great if we had a way to get it into play. Actually, Angel of Sanctions is great. It's a card I actually like playing. Look, Forge Master came back. See, look, it just comes like... I feel like the last pick has been super hasty, right? What did Johnny be doing? One quick question. What is the best bundle for me to buy an MTG and I got a gift card for 40? Uh, I would actually say just gems. You just buy gems and then you buy packs with it. That's what I have done historically. Um, all right. So you're going to go up here. So 26 cards. I do like Phantasm. I don't know if I like Arcane Artisan anymore because we don't have that many creatures to discard. So I don't think it's that good. I don't love Fairgrounds Warden. I do like Angel of Sanctions, actually. Riffling Cloud Skate, you're a two-drop for the most part. We have seven creatures, but we also have uh, an Elspeth and a Bribery, which is basically like nine creatures. Um... We can't equip one of them with a sword, so it's back to eight creatures. I don't know if I want the sword, but then again, it does work well with Metalworker. I wish we had, like, an, an X spell here. Blight, Blightsteel Colossus is an X spell. <sighs> Alright, so... Hmm. Hopefully we did Denny, Denny DB proud with this list. I like this deck a lot. Uh, it might just be Sword. Or we can just play 41. Could also take the balance out. I don't know if I love balance. We're still going to be playing a bunch of lands. The thing I like about Sword is that it untaps our lands with Winter Rebel. Let's take out the balance for now. I'm always, I'm always unimpressed with balance. Balance feels good with artifact mana, but it doesn't. That doesn't really matter, right? Like, so if I have three artifact mana, and I've used three lands to cast it, and our opponent also has three lands, like it just doesn't do anything, right? Like we're not sacrificing just because we have artifact. It's not like Armageddon where like you're destroying all the lands and you come out ahead because you have artifact mana. Like you still sacrifice an equal number of lands. I mean, for creatures, we already have Control Magic, we have Journey to Nowhere, Phantasmal Image, Riffling Cloud Skate, Teferi, Mystic Confluence, Bribery. Like, we have a bunch of ways to deal with creatures. I'm not super concerned with that. Uh, is this one, two, three? And then one, two, five, five. So we get one more? Probably one more here. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah, but you don't necessarily gain resources. That's not necessarily true. Like, you could have the same number of cards in hand. 
you know like you could have there's been tons of times where like whenever i had a balance i'm like well you discard a card but i have to sack a land and one creature there's there's plenty of times where that's the case like there's definitely no guarantee that balance is going to put you ahead Uh, this is a hand father likes. There we go. Oh, we got all Casper decks in the... Oh, <laughs> Caps is on. All right, so I'll we'll just go this guy. I have no idea which one to target, so we'll just target this one. Metalworker. Oh, did we hit the wrong one? One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Huh? We're going to pretend like we got Counterspell. Let's vote for homage, right? Thank you. Yeah. Valtrix, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Well, this seems good. Get in there, little metal worker. Uh, yeah, we're gonna... Despite the fact we have control magic on board, I still don't want this to resolve. Because there's gonna be, like, they get a creature, we take it, they get another creature. Oh, looking good. We can play this and still Mystic Confluence, but I'd rather be able to Mystic Confluence and keep up Glenelanger Archmage. And next turn we can play Hall of Fountain, that's fine. Man, Metalworker is a pricey card. Woof! Got Tropical Island now?
Nope, don't like that. Oh, can we steal it? But then they draw a card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's do that. Still going to say homage. Not going to draw anything else. Could have played this and then played Coalition Relic as well. I guess we can still do that. Oh, if they have a removal spell, though, this does... I <laughs> give for the Sultai guy, I guess. <laughs> oh. Yeah, work that metal. Was the one point really worth it? Uh, yeah, because we're winning this race. I mean, I'm at 20 life. Like, I'm not going to... You might say there was a point to it. <laughs> Spencer, I'm not actually going to activate this because I don't really want them to uh, respond with some nonsense. I mean, either way, we're winning the race. I don't know what to tell you, man. Unless you're agreeing with me. Unless unless that's what you're saying. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm just going to Teferi here. And I'm going to draw like three cards a turn. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's fine. And we get to keep up Mystic Confluence and... Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, that's going to be good with this with this Leovold. It's definitely not a race if we actually don't deal damage with the creatures. Like, I don't understand what you're asking me here. Like, <laughs> we, have, we have creatures. They don't. It's not a race. Yeah, you're right. But if we don't attack them, like, we don't win the game. So I don't understand. Uh, two of these, one of these. Yeah, I knew what you meant. Like you use this, but like who cares? It's two damage, but twenty life. I don't understand the. I don't understand why this is such a such a point of contention here. Like we're at twenty. Like it's not even an issue. Let's add a blue, a bluesels. Can I take a peek? Can I take a peek, sees? This is usually, usually a card like bribery is a concession just because they're like, well, the information I'm getting is worth more than just being able to uh, sit here. Oh, good times. If 
Fairgrounds Warden actually seems pretty good if they are Oath of druids -ing. Are you guys sure you can't hear this fan? I just want to make sure. It feels it feels loud to me, but it's a little fan. Uh, I really don't want to play the other sword because they're playing uh, Oath of Druids, and anything from Blightsteel Colossus to Eldrazi means that they can just shuffle all the creatures back into their, all their cards back into their deck. So I don't think milling them is a is a reliable strategy here. I mean, as far as things that are good against Oath of Druids, we have quite a few. I guess this guy too, and in certain situations this, yeah, this is pretty good, and this I guess, and this. <laughs> um, What are we taking out? And this I guess, I don't know. No, maybe not a Johnny, because Johnny doesn't actually tap the permanent. A little bit, little bit of trivia there for you. What are we taking out? Well, if we're trying to get pro green, we already have Sword of Feast and Famine, which is also pro black, which is the other color that they were having. So I think that's actually, I think that's actually better. Actually, I have no idea what to take out here. Maybe Phantasm Wands. That doesn't seem good. You just submit like this: sixteen lands, one Mox Diamond. You know what? Sometimes you gotta make the hard choices, guys. Um, keep. Winter Orb is interesting. Alright, alright. Johnny Big Large and Tallest, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I have not seen a notification, though. Oh, a tropical island for you as well, I see. This is a turn two with the druids. Joke's on you, I'll never cast a creature. Karn liberated in the trash can. Well, that's sad. Do 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 there's really nothing we can do other than play Winter Orbs. So maybe that's just what we do. If you could sit down and play a game of Magic with any currently living person on the entire planet, who would it be? Well, does that does that assume that the other person knows how to play Magic, or would I have to would I have to teach them? Oh, you definitely have a, a subscriber icon as well, so it's Thank definitely you. um. There you go, nailed it, Johnny Big Large and Tallest. Thank you so much for the nine months. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Congratulations on our sub child. Um, could actually just kill the tropical island. That might be better considering they played another island. Maybe they're just maybe they're just rough on mana. This is a this is a better uh, a better measure than just a a winter orb. I think. Oh, time walk. Fancy. All right, fascinating. Uh, I'm just gonna play this and pass. Our hand requires lots of other creatures on board to do things, so. Don't cryptic command me. I don't even have a creature. Oh, negate. Inquisition? Oh, that's the rudest thing you could do. Let's just take Winter Orb. Time Walk? 
Buddy, I got Winter Orb. Does your answer change? You have to teach him. Um, it's just good to know because I don't want to like. If my yes, I think so because if my time is gonna have to be spent there, like it's magic is a long game to teach, right? So it's there's a lot of intricacies, there's a lot of concepts to grasp. So if I have to sit there and teach someone how to play magic, like it's gonna consume a significant amount of time. And I'd like to the person that I'm 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 playing it with to be able to grasp those concepts. <laughs> okay, let's just assume everyone has at least beginner level magic understanding. Um That's a good question. Well, I'd much rather steal that with my control magic, but... Come on, land. Woo! Hot potatoes. We could journey to nowhere. Untap one land next turn. Hope we hit another one. We could winter or journey to nowhere. Nah, I'm just going to steal this. You get to draw. Which is pretty good. But I get a wormy boy. I'm still I'm thinking I'm still thinking of the question. Oath of Druids that is gonna trigger solely because I have all these creatures. I'm gonna bounce it though. Oh wait. Wait, no, it goes off during their turn, not our turn, right? It doesn't matter what comes, rush goes better in life. Look at all these cards you draw. Nothing gets to you, saying. But they actually couldn't draw. Well, yeah, they could because it's their first card of that turn. All right, well. Is it not me? That's hurtful. Wow. <laughs> we just trade. I think we want to trade Leovolds here. I think that's fine. So long, Leovoldo. Lady, counter spells when I need you. Destroy your opponent with a current mana cost three or less. I don't control anything that costs three or less. I'm gonna reluctantly let this resolve because I don't care about it. Because so we have ten points of damage next turn. Please charge Roomba. I can hear the Roomba in the other room. Preordain. Okay. Where's my Leovold when I need it? Thank you. Check two. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oath of Druids again? I can't trust this card. All right, now we can have six, because. You gotta go to an island here, right? No, you just don't draw anything? Interesting. Let's see if this seals the deal. Yeah, why does Roomba tell you to charge Roomba instead of just turning around and driving back to his charging bait? Okay, let me tell you something. This Roomba has been nothing but trouble. It gets stuck constantly. If there's anything on the floor, it will run over it assuredly and get stuck, and I'll have to come fix it. 
Like... <laughs> um, alternatively, we can just attack Frasca here just to get rid of it. And uh, we didn't even look at the deck because we just assumed that this was going to do the job. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, it'll get stuck. It'll stop right in the middle of the floor in a different room. And I'm like, if your battery was low, why didn't you just go to the charging station? I have no idea why you're not accurately finishing the job and then going back to the charging station when you're done. Weird question. I mean, I wouldn't want to play Magic with someone famous who only has a basic understanding. Like, why are we playing Magic? Well, the point is Magic is more like the... Uh, Magic is like just the background of, of what you're doing, right? Like it's like if hey, would you, if you if you could play chess, uh, with any with any person, right? Like it's the same kind of thing. Like, you know the the game the game is is um, what's the word I'm looking? I, I, I kind of want to say catalyst, but I don't think that's the, that's the word I'm looking for. It's the um, it's the vehicle for the for the wait. What did they just? Oh, they they go for the throat on a log. That's pretty funny, actually. I can't tell if that was intentional or not. And the last card was Cycle Miscalc. Um. So like you're mostly using it like you can play the game and you can be like, did you ever play games like this? Um, you know, you know, have you played the games like this before? And then like maybe it's like, oh yeah, I played. You know, me and my dad used to play games and stuff. Like, it's a good way to like have a background. Con it's a good. It's a good conversation start. It's a good conversational uh, um, I can't think of the word. I'm trying to play magic here, guys. If you could play crossfire with any living person, who would it be? Oh yeah, Snap Keeps. Snapples McKeepleton is my stage name. Oh, that's old Snapples McKeepleton. Casper Dix, good games, buddy. Oh wow, this is aggressive. The old turn one Imperial Seal, huh? G -g -g Gollum. Gollum. Isn't that how it goes? Knight's Whisper for three, huh? And you revealed a Vraska's Contempt, huh? Well, see you later. And that's when we killed them. We could play Warren Power Stone, but I think instead we're going to actually just per, per, Phantasm Image of this guy. <laughs> oh, literally locked out of casting anything. Holy shit, that's insane. <laughs> they get to untap one land and every spell they cast costs two more, so... Nope. Don't think so. Oh, that was a cool uh, Robert confidant. Huh. Again, I like kind of I kind of like Fairgrounds Warden just to get rid of their guy, get rid of their bobs. Ba 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 balance. Did that game alone fulfill the step? Yes, I think so. Uh, I think double lodestone golem. Uh, Winter Orb. 
definitely does the job. Oh, interesting. I will keep this hand. Ideally, we draw another blue source because they kind of like to keep the wasteland, but I haven't seen any other... Well, that's pretty good. So let's go Mox Diamond. Discard Island. Uh, play Wasteland. Suspendo. You ever wonder why everyone calls Dark Confident Bob and not Bert? Uh, no. No, I do not wonder why. I can't tell if you're being serious. Oh, I see. Because it's... Yeah, I get it now. I can tell you're... I understand. I understood that reference. Uh, let's get a hollowed fountain because it is in our colors. I'd rather have that than tropical. Winter Orb is one of the most heinous cards in the cube. I agree. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty unbelievable. Each player discards a card. Does this guy come down next turn? Oh, wow. One more turn. Well, fingers crossed we can survive. I'm a big kid. Look what I can do. I can play a Signet too. They're going to make me discard. I think Teferi is probably worse than Bribery here. I actually have no idea. We're going to have to get rid of a 5 drop. Yeah, all right. Well, this guy's coming down. We're going to bounce Liliana. I do not think this is going to swing. Or uh, connect, rather. Well, guess we'll find out. Not a chance, right? <laughs> <laughs> sure, you got it. Liliana, surprisingly problematic here. Yep, we are going to go to control magic, because it does nothing. I'm not actually sure what bribery can get that doesn't just die to Liliana, actually. This is funny if we hit a land because then like they don't get to draw their Imperial Seal card too, which is pretty pretty sweet. Alrighty then. One, two. Alright, let's see if this is better than Teferi. Oh, Vampire Hexmage is nice. Necrotal Massacre Worm. Oh, let's Grave Titan. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to be Grave Titaning. Oh, boy. Oh, they didn't plus there. That's fascinating. Guess they like their last card. Yep. Hmm. 
I'm activating a Johnny in such a way because I, if they have a way to get rid of our Planeswalker, I don't want to just have nothing. So. Well, now we feel bad. Wow, is Dark Confidence just going to kill our Johnny because we tried to hit that Liliana instead? That's really sad. Oh, boy. That's a good one. That is a good one. And now you have nothing is correct. Oh, now I have something. Hey, look, we we got it. What are you hitting? A little swamperino. Really? I'm pretty sure they have removal in hand. That's bait. Yeah, I'll give you another draw. Sure. Yep, get Grave Titan back. That's pretty good. That's interesting. Yeah, we weren't attacking their face, so there's no trigger, unfortunately. I assume they're going to plus. Yeah. We're not actually going to draw any cards here because if we did, they're just going to get discarded. If we'd have to draw two cards to not have them discarded, and I don't really want Grave Titan attacking because that doesn't. Then if we bounce the Titan, if we bounce the zombies, Grave Titan attacking us doesn't really uh, save us from anything. So another hand is Grave Titan and one other card.
I think we're dead. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, now we're actually bringing in balance because it's kind of like a Wrath of God against this deck. Wasteland seems like an actual blank that we can just replace with a colored mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This hand is actually fantastic if we can hit one land. Oh boy, what are the odds? I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk that there's a land on top, guys. Come on. Come on. We can do it. There was not a land on top. <laughs> Dang it. I think we're good. I think we have a couple turns. Because if we miss a land, we could, like if we hit a land, then we can recover with this. These are both going to help us out. All right. Those are fine. Land. Nailed it. Those are obviously the two threats that we had in our hand, so that's, that's unfortunate, but we are quite alive. One, two, three, four, five. This is these are both gonna give us two next turn. One, two, three, four, five. So we can go yeah, let's play Warren Power Stone. So we can go one, two, three, relic. We have three left over. We can go one, two, three, four. We, if we play a land. Yep, seems good. That is something. So we can play this, play this, play this, play this. We can play everything here and make them discard all their cards and sacrifice their bob. One, two, three. One, two, relic. They get to discard their whole hand and a Dark Confidant. Seems good. <laughs> and meanwhile, we have a million lands. They have a Liliana, but we have Aerofwing, Cloudskate, and our Mishra's Factory waiting in the wings. One, two, three. I'm just going to play this and activate with this. Yeah, Lil Liliana's pretty under control right now, so. Oh, man, I missed the thing. I forgot I have six, and then I had a thing to do the thing with. Yep, that is sad. Well, this is unfortunate because we have to discard a control magic. It's not a card we can play. But, uh... What are you gonna do?
Yep. Everybody's discarding. And we're not actually going to bounce Liliana because we can just kill it. Dang it, I keep F6ing instead of using the Coalition Relic. I'm so concerned with time, guys. It's only game two. Let's bounce an island. And by island, I mean, you know, the other thing. That's not an island. Yeah, if they have any kind of removal here, I don't really want to risk it. I think I just want Lillian off the board. So we're playing a nice fair game. A nice fair game of Magic the Gathering. <laughs> play it play it on your mistress factory for message sending purposes. Seems legit. Alright guys, you ready? You ready for this? Oh, add a charge counter. Got him. Well, non-land permanent, right? Yep, yeah. alright, so we'll just add a white. Use it to activate this guy. And do the deed. I'm pretty sure if they play late on this triumph, we're just sacrificing the Earthwing Cloud Skate. I think I like having a creature that can only die to sorcery speed removal. A good deal. Uh oh. Liliana Death's Majesty. Shriek Maw. Okay. Sad days. Let's get double white mana. Two, one, two, three. Activate this. One, two, three, four, five. Play you. Steal your Shrieky Maw. Yeah, let's use that. I'm a big kid, look what I can do. I can attack with a 2 2. And I got an angel on board. I haven't had a drink this entire time. Can you guys even believe that? Gaunty? Oh, man, they're just. They're getting all the hits and we're getting all the lands. Ever since back when we had this control magic, the only thing we've actually drawn is Angel of Sanctions. Which is good. It's not great. Some guys have all the luck. Oh, like a Frost Titan here. That'd be gas. Okay, that'll do. Never mind. That'll do, pig. That'll do. We got Vampire Hex Mage, Massacre Worm, Doom Whisper. Oh, no, fr no, f no, Grave Titan. Do they take out Grave Titan because of bribery? That's pretty hilarious. Uh, I guess we'll just get Doom Whisper. And we'll attack you for three. And then we have nine power, so you're dead on board. Titans in their yard? Oh, it's interesting. How did that get there? I guess they discarded it with Liliana. Oh, because they have Necromancy, so they probably discarded it with Liliana with the hopes of Necromancying it. Okay. That's pretty good. Man, that balance. Woo! Sometimes balance is OP. I didn't think they discarded it to balance. It might have been to balance. I don't know. I know they no because well they act no because they him to Torak us and they activated Liliana at least one time before they before they ba before we balanced yeah it was the first uptick so it wouldn't go him to Torak Grave Titan if if it was to balance because they did have to discard something to Liliana
Oh yeah, this is a keeper. This is a beautiful, beautiful keeper. Dax, I think good games, man. Good games. Yeah, that game was actually great. Um, yeah, that balance was pretty ridiculous. It worked out quite well. But your Liliana was also pretty ridiculous against me as well. So, good games. I think we're just going to... Yeah, all right. I guess we can wait. We don't have to be time walking yet. I might time walk, time walk next turn so we can coercive portal. Uh, this would be our trophy round, yes. Ooh, they have nothing? Interesting. Yeah, I'll time walk here. Go for a portal. That's pretty good. Come on, no braid, manic vandal, Coligon's command. Here we go. Ooh, biscuits. They don't have a play yet. It's turn three, and there's no play going on here. Always vote homage. Don't don't mess around. There's a lot of mana, guys. <laughs> Can we class Blightsteel? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We are one mana away from just hard casting a Blightsteel. That dude costs 11 or 12. Probably 12. Shatterstorm. Is this a sad avalanche rider? Rakdos is returned. Keep the Elspeth. Keep the El Oh, it's, uh, oh, it's Choose. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's just fine. Homage. Oh, we're definitely doing that. Uh, let's go white. Doesn't matter. Two, three. Sword. Land. Uh, factory. Equip. Get my beat. Get my beat zone. Get my land zone. Oh, need another white. That's not gonna work, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like we're way ahead here. Hard to be sure, though. We did it, boys and ladies. <laughs> Definitely not Derek. Thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Be sure that you're not Derek. Just one more hero. What's going on? Glad you, glad you could catch live. How many more days for Vintage Cube? Uh, I believe it's next Wednesday, uh, which also correlates with the same day that Modern Horizons is live. Oh, good. Dragon Lord of Tarka. I have helped you. I has a sad. I feel like we're doing worse now. Although, Feast and, sort of Feast of Him, it does get through. Well, I guess they just get to kill Elspeth now. Snack deck with all the most attractive cards. Must pick the most attractive card in each pack. Wow. Wow. 
Yep, that's pretty good. Oh boy. Well, this guy's a real piece of junk. Remember the time I was like, I think we're doing good, and then like 188, and it's like, oh, we're not doing as good anymore. I mean, we do have draw two every turn, so we have like at least four cards. It's actually pretty good. Uh, bloop. For bloop, as Robert B would say, let's just cast this guy. We'll bounce the Atarka because you recasting that is fine. I don't want you recasting Necromancy. That kind of changes things. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Iona. Well, biscuits. <laughs> Unburial rights. Oh. Whoop! <laughs> See you later! And they could see. <laughs> well, I guess that's a play. Got him. Alright. Seems good. Seems good. Boy, that was something. Reanimator, huh? Well, see you later. bring that balance back again i'm bringing balance back i don't know if i like smokestack here like we're gonna have more perms than they are i think control magic seems great bribery seems insane again i do like fairgrounds warden but i think we're probably fine like this well actually no i think yawgmoth's real sweet i think yawgmoth has a lot going on i like I, I don't look I don't I'm not gonna say Yogmoth is gonna be a tier one <laughs> tier one card in modern. I don't even know if it's gonna be that played. Uh but I do like the idea of going like turn three lingering souls, turn four Yogmoth, sack your two creatures, draw two <laughs> cards, put two negative one counters on their opponents. Like I don't think it has to be near what Urza is. I don't think they have to be similar though. Friendly FFS, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, my dude. Uh, this hand is terrible. This hand is good. Yeah, uh, I don't. Mm, I'm gonna bottom this because I really just want to hit bribery. So if we hit like an artifact that ramps us or something, I think that's better. Alright, we can get there. A Boros Signet here would be insane. Boros Signet on turn 2 into a Johnny turn 3, Bribery turn 4. Well, that is not uh, a, a Boros Signet. 
Yeah, you're trading your board creatures for shrinking stuff, but like, you're also drawing cards. Plus, like, you know how many X ones are in modern? Like, a lot. Winter Orb seems insane here. Next turn we play a land, untap a land. Next turn we play a land, untap a land. And then we get to bribery them. Steal, like, God, I don't know. Something big and stupid. Dragon Lord of Tarka. Okay, yep. Next turn we just get to bribery. Seems good. So if we bribery Dragon Lord of Tarka, just kill this this vampire nighthawk we just can't lose right <laughs> my man my man all right so let's bribery you what do you got here what kind of idiots you got here massacre worm yeah we're just gonna take dragon lord sarka so it looks like they have iona in hand we should have looked at their deck more, but I feel like we were way ahead. We couldn't take Iona. I also don't love Iona here because they have Vampire Nighthawk, but... I think it's still... I guess we could have uh, a Johnny Venture, and now they have Boros Signet. Our hand is pretty insane now. If we can draw one more white, we get to... Next turn, we get to play a Johnny Vengeant. What? Interesting. So we just get to... Oh, that's that Rose of Legendary. All right. Oh, we could have actually doubled the Lodestone Golem. No, we couldn't. We would be one shy. Yeah, that's still fine. What did they get rid of? Buried Alive, Terastodon. There was the Iona in hand. Fiery Confluence, and that's it. All right. Necromancy. Terastodon seems fine. Iona. Okay, sure. You name Blue. Okay, well, I have a journey to nowhere, so. Where are you going, man? You taking a little journey? To nowhere? Uh, I wish we could Phantasmal Image of this, but, you know, Blue, so. All right, that should be good. I assume this is... Like, everything costs two more. So they can't cast anything that costs more than three mana. Four mana now. I mean, this is assuming they don't have Damnation. What up, Sam Rook? Boom, 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 boom. We have three lethal threats. Toxic Deluge doesn't work. Kaya's Guile seems great, yes. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. 
I guess you get to kill one thing, right? You get to kill one of these guys and then you then you die. Oh, yeah, you can kill both because of the stupid... I forgot the Phantasm Lynch. Yep, my bad. Well, that's pretty good. Oof. That was a good turn. I feel like we're not doing as well now. Yeah. Wow, are we going to lose this game? What just happened? Uh, going to 15 is probably... Wow, this is insane. That Wheel of Fortune. Well, we're at 1. We can't deal 1 damage to them. This is so silly. Unfortunately, Johnny Vengeance in the graveyard. Reckless return for 1? Sure. You got it. <laughs> that's, that's fantastic. Wow, this has been a hell of a game, though. Is this game two or game three? We won game... I know we won game one. Sure. One, two, three, one, two. Hanger back walker for one. Sure. Get that hollowed fountain. Mystic Confluence. Riftwing Cloudscape. That actually seems insane against Dragon Lord Atarka. Oh, but it's wait. Oh, but it's not a Dragon Lord Atarka, is it? Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, it's a Phyrexian Metamorph, but they can't recast it. Yeah, they can't actually cast their. Yeah, they can't actually cast it. They're just dead to the Surfwing Cloudscape if they can't deal with it. Oh, that's great. I mean, they could discard two rats, making this a three-three, and then four. So we go to two. you have it? Nope, they're making a rat. One rat. So another card, their hand is one metamorph, one other card. Okay, so they have one random card, and it's going to be a lightning bolt, or they're going to hang her back walker, because they're just going to use all the things they have at their disposal right now. They can't copy the Cloudscape, because they can't play this, because it's got... Shut up and take my money! It costs Phyrexian mana, which they don't have, or blue. I'm a dog. Doge Gulashi. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just going to take it. If we block here, uh, then they get a 1-1 one, one flyer and we don't win. So, But if they have a 2 damage spell, then we die. Lightning Bolt targeting us. Seems good. Yep. Seems good. The last card is Lightning Bolt. <laughs> oh, that's impressive. That is impressive. Congratulations. I think this is still fine. Wow, they had to have like they had to have exactly seven mana and lightning bolt. I guess they could have made two rats. They could have just made one rat and lightning bolted. Yeah, whatever. I will keep this hand for sure. Let's go, Mishra's Factory, Mox Diamond, Ditch View, Play Cloudscape. Danny, you are not here, buddy. This is it. We're doing it right now. We're living the dream. Next time we get to play Glenelendra? Oh, this seems good. I feel like we're in good shape here. Do we think they have Lightning Bolt again?
I don't think it's worth it. I think we're just going to play this because next turn we can do all the things. And that resolved pretty quickly. They might have F6 there, actually. Uh, we are currently 2-0, my friend. So the dream is quite alive. Oh yeah, we wouldn't have the Man of Glen second main because we have Mox Diamond. That's a good point. Thank you. Are you gonna make us discard our last island? Because I think that's totally fine. Rockval, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. They might always have it, but at least we have each other. Nice. Nice. Yeah, we'll discard this. We can kill the Liliana and bounce your Lava Claw reaches and make you discard a card. Oh, but you're going to just cast that guy, huh? Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, I guess we can actually prevent you from reanimating it, right? Because we have Glenelander Archmage. <laughs> okay, that's good too, I guess. Um... Attack your face, attack Lily, attack Lily. Seems good. One thing we can also do is play Winter Orb here. And then you get one land to work with forever. Sure. Seems good. This guy's pro black? Sure. Yeah, Winter Orb with Sword of Feast and Famine. A solid combo. Plus, this guy's out of Lightning Bolt Rage and can't be hit by red cards. Seems good. Not going to play it, but, you know. Oh, we should have actually played it. But then we then we put down the shields. I don't feel like putting down the shields here. Like, we, we tap out, we play this, then they're free to do whatever they want. Yeah, I don't like that. Damnation, huh? Interesting. I mean, it's just going to get countered, so I don't, I don't blame you, my friend. I do, I do not blame you, my friend. Manic Vandal is not a card I can counter. They could kill the Winter Orb. Ah, yeah, that's what I thought they'd do. That seems good. Actually, we might as well tap all the mana, right? One, two, three. Mourn Power Stone. Get to keep up Mystic Confluence here. No, you don't. Next turn we do. Rack, rack Dose's Return. Exhum, huh? Masquerum? No. Let's 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 say nay to that. Okay, then we just win. <laughs> Maybe they won't counter it. 3-0 with the blue white stacks deck. This deck was pretty sweet. Check me out at manatraders.com. You can find the links and the promo code in the description. Be sure to use both of those for 20% off your first three months of any subscription, which is a great deal. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You get 20 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. They are super comfortable. They are a great value. 
in uh, in in clothing in in attire. So definitely check them out as well. And I'll see you guys at CoolStuffInc.com with promo code Frank5. You get 5% off. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Follow and subscribe on Twitch. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.